that is the latest from Profits and Outlaws. It's called Dreamer. Just kind of zooming up the chart. It's got that Texas soul feel to it that I didn't know if I was going to be safe to play or not. Actually, to be honest with you, I was like, whoa, that's soul. But it is so good. I am Craig Vaughn, the program director for 95.7 KPUR in Amarillo and all Texas Red Dirt Station. Uh, we're downtown at 3rd and Polk, actually, right now in the Amarillo building. As far as a Texas Red Dirt sound, it's a lot more real. It's a lot stripped down. There's, you won't hear clap tracks or, you know, uh, rapping or a bass. It, it's a little more authentic. It uh, used to be you had to be from Texas, and you only played in Texas, and it was independent, and you had to write everything that you played. There's less of a pop sound. Uh, you know, uh, Nashville, a top 40 country, relies a lot on what we call hooks. The things, the chorus part that really pulls you in, and that is the most important. Uh, a lot of the songs even get written around the chorus. It used to, Craig could only play regular Nashville during the day, and then at night, he would have Texas nights. They finally got to where they took the Saturday nights away too, and so Craig could only play Nashville just like the other, you know, 20 something radio stations in the panhandle. We were playing it and there was a demand for it. It was the only thing being booked in Amarillo. It was Texas Red Deer music. There was an occasional rock concert. There was hardly a Nashville show, a top 40 show in the Civic Center. Uh, we really don't have a Civic Center big enough for it. And so at the time we were playing maybe one song an hour. I was getting in a lot of trouble for playing those one songs an hour. Uh, I was, and then we were playing it on the weekends and I got in a lot of trouble for that stuff. And we had uh, a GM leave here and another GM come in and a vice president of the company on his way out. I can tell you a year later that corporate was like, oh, when did you guys do that? <laughs> yeah. But it's been working with ratings and, and income and everything else. So, so they've kind of went, okay, good. It's working there. We're happy. You know, thank you. Just the lyrics are really phenomenal. There's things like Red Shahan has a song about a single mother, you know, with little kids struggling in Midland, Texas, you know, and um, talking about how she's got to figure out whether she can feed the kids or pay the rent and so she goes back to stripping and so it's just those real-life struggles that nobody wants to sing about nobody wants to talk about we had a 5,000 watt sing signal on 1071 KPUR FM oh, and that was the safe one you take your your smallest signal and you see if it's gonna work on the small signal and it just took off I mean it really just took off to where we got to a point where like, okay, we can really grow this if you give us more wattage. So they gave us 100,000 watts. And now we're the strongest all Texas Red Deer station in the state, or I guess in the country, really. Uh, and, and it's really just successful. It really does well. And it just I think gives people another another uh, another choice, really, on the, on the radio dial. It's great to hear local bands on the radio. And a lot of them, you know, I know where I'll meet at concerts. Um, and just you hear these great artists from other places and for some reason we tend to think well yeah they're from somewhere else so they're great and people don't pay attention to local people but we have really great artists here. Texas 95.7 the Armadillo Amarillo's theme song there there's Chansey Burnson with Amarillo still love to hear that song it's got to be 10 years old now but it still sounds just as good today as it did then. Glad that we had a product that we could put out there that could be heard on radio and so it, it was it was a good feeling. Yeah, there's a market for this music and people want to hear it and it's noticed. I think it was noticed by the company he works for that, okay, let's let Craig do this. Now you have things like, you know, the Canadian River Music Festival. Uh, the bands that they are bringing in, they're all the bands that people in this area now know and love because Craig Vaughn started playing them on the radio station. So if you have a song on Craig's station, it's huge. I think they're. I think Cody and Aaron Watson and Granger Smith and those guys are, are getting bigger uh, with a national scene because their music is more country. Country kind of got away from country, and so here you got these guys coming back and they're they're singing. They sound like country again.